Hey everybody, today we're talking about the net change theorem. This is a pretty straightforward application of the second fundamental theorem of calculus, which says that to evaluate a definite integral, you just find an antiderivative, plug in the two endpoints, and subtract. If we restate that slightly, we get this. Integral from a to b, f prime of x dx equals f of b minus f of a. This really is just a special case of that second fundamental theorem of calculus, because of course f is an antiderivative of f prime. Basically it says that if you integrate a rate of change, you get the net change over the interval. First example is velocity and distance traveled. It, since um, velocity is a derivative of displacement, if you integrate velocity over an interval, you get the net change in displacement. Here's a sample problem. The velocity of a decelerating car is given by negative 5 eighths t plus 25 meters per second. How far does the car travel between t equals 0 and t equals 40 when it finally is at a stop? So in order to get that net distance traveled, we're going to integrate that rate of change of distance, um, namely velocity. So we integrate from 0 to 40 v of t, dt. We get an antiderivative here. We evaluate it from 0 to 40, plug in those two values and subtract, and we get 500 meters. So the car travels half a kilometer um, as it decelerates. Example two, the initial growth rate for a certain ant colony is given by this function g of t, where t is measured in days. We'd like to know how much the population grows in its first 10 days. So again, we have an instantaneous rate of change here. We'd like to know the net change. Therefore, we can just integrate that instantaneous rate of change function over the interval we're interested in. We're gonna anti-differentiate. Um, go through each of those terms, raise the power by one, and then divide by that new power. Plug in the endpoints, overall we get 723. According to this model, the population will grow by 723 ants over that time interval.